are welcome to our television show. Thank you. I'm honored. So let me focus on a couple of questions regarding your university. How do you uh, describe a little bit about your university? Um, Bellevue University is in Nebraska, in the center of the United States. We are just celebrating our 50th anniversary, so we're very pleased. Yes. And um, the university is one that has always focused on student success and students. And I know a lot of people say that. But we, we keep services small, we keep classes small, our professors work directly with students, and we very much focus on the kinds of degrees that will lead to good jobs. Because we know that students want an opportunity to have a good life and okay. to have a good family. Uh -huh. Okay, do you have any, any Nepalese students currently studying there? Yes, we do. Okay. We have, have quite a good a few. chance to meet with Over, them and interact with them. <laughs> very wonderful. Over the years, we've had about 600 Nepali students. Great. So they've been very successful at our university. So I'm confident that this relationship will be a success. Very good. Actually, Nepali parents will watch you on Nepali television. They are maybe eager to uh, hear you know a few words about the Nepalese students, how they are doing, how they are studying. Do, do you get some time to interact with Nepali? I do, and uh, one of the Nepal students at our campus is actually working as a student worker. She is our um, resident advisor. We have housing at the university, so she's one of the uh, residence hall um, ex assistants, so doing extremely well. What um, the students find is that they learn three things when they come to the United States. Obviously, they learn the curriculum and the academics. But they also learn about not only U.S. culture, but the culture of some of the other students that we have at campus. A lot of students from Mexico, a lot of students from Africa, students from all over the world. And the third thing that we do at the university is we introduce them in U.S. businesses. So they get some ex understanding and experience to see, well, what, what do businesses do? How are they succeeding? What's different? So. Three things, culture, academics, and U.S. business. Okay, so you are quite happy or, you know, uh, about the performance of Nepalese students they are doing there, isn't it? Yes, yes. Okay. They're very, you, uh, Nepal is a country of very warm people and very hardworking people. And those are two things you need to succeed. Especially for those students who are planning to go to U.S. for, for their study, because as I told you earlier, our program is especially focused on education and career. And we do cover hundreds of universities all around the world, including United States. So just talking about your university, you know, what kind of students can go to your university and what are the criteria? Well, we want students who have demonstrated that they can work hard and succeed. So we will want students who've successfully completed their secondary or what you call um you call plus two <laughs> 12th level the now it has been a school level from I this know, year <laughs> it's changed yes but um the other thing is that they've got to be good with english because they're going to learn in english and that's a challenge i think if the students come in with an attitude open attitude to work hard there's support and resources to help them but they have to know English and work hard. Any um, scholarship provision to the students who are deserving, but you know, financially a bit weak? We are going to establish yes. that. Yes. We're very early in this conversation, so that's one of the things that we need to work on is, how do the students get over? What are the financial arrangements? And um, how will they succeed? What kinds of resources do they need to succeed? Let me tell you about the statistics of our Ministry of Education. United States is number one priority destination for Nepalese students. Uh, having said that, there is like you know some regulations about visa. So all the students who are applying for United States, they are unable to get visa 100%. Um, so that has been a problem, isn't it? Yes, it is. One of the things that I want to do here is meet with the U.S. Embassy. I think that if they understand how this partnership is working, that, that it will help the visa. I can't say, I can't guarantee. The other thing I think that's important is we want the Nepalese students who graduate from Bellevue University to come back to Nepal, start jobs, start careers, or start a new business. Exactly. So our purpose is not to keep them in the United States. And I think that will help with the embassy because they worry that students are coming over for two things. One, 
they're not going to stay in school, they're going to go partying and traveling, and two, that they're going to want to stay. And our university sets up these relationships so the students know work hard, study hard, and go back to Nepal. <laughs> So uh, let me ask you a question about your purpose of visit this time. What have you brought to Nep Nepali people, Nepali students and Nepali education sector? Well, there, you could ask me what I've brought, but what I have gained is a real understanding of some of the educational opportunities here. What I brought was an open heart and a willingness to find better ways to bring Nepal students into the United States for a U.S. degree. But what I have learned is the, the students I've met today are wonderful students. I am so excited to have them at the university. I heard that you have established your uh, partnership with Himalayan Education Network, is it? Yes. And how does it benefit to students or to Nepali education? The uh, articulation agreement that we're working on, well, we signed part of it. There's still some details to work out. It should ensure a smoother transfer. It should um, make it such that the students have a clear path and that the parents and the students understand what's gonna be the culture, where are they gonna live, what kind of health are they gonna health care are they gonna get, what kind of studying, what kind of support from faculty. The other possibility that we're working on, which is really interesting, is um, Instead of doing all four years to do the bachelor's in the United States, we're talking about maybe two years or one year in the United States for the U.S. degree and maybe two years of university here. So we're going to work on a partnership at the university level because it's hard for a student to be away from home for four years and it's expensive. So this might be a better option. Recently I visited a couple of universities from Malaysia and they are doing, they are following similar kind of model that you rightly mentioned, two years in Malaysia and two years, yes. two plus two kind of program. Yes. But here in Nepal, you know, um, uh, le let me tell you the bitter fact that, you know, uh, some of the universities came with the same purpose, but the problem is like, like, you know, after having two years education, if they are unable to get visa for, for the study, that becomes problem for the students, then how they get exit after two years, well, that become a question, isn't it? Yes, and that's what we have to work on with the U.S. Embassy. The other possibility with Bellevue University is we have online programs. Yes. Those the students technically okay. could finish here using online, and our online program is very strong. We were one of the early schools into online. U.S. News and World Report rated us number one bachelor's degree online. Mm -hmm. So there's some option if the visa is a problem. but. I think the best way to attack that is to work with the embassy so they understand the partnership. So for, I just came to the end of conversation. Um, any messages that you want to give to Nepali viewers because you will be on Nepali television, especially it comes through three or four channels dedicated to education and career. Uh, so who are planning to go to United States? I think that the parents and the students coming over to the United States should be assured that the Americans do care about their success equally as other students' success. And so they'll find that there's a lot of support for them to graduate. And then I think it is still the truth that the United States degree is very well respected. It gives them opportunity and flexibility. So we will work very hard to make it happen. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for your valuable time and information. Have a good stay here in Nepal. Thank you. Thank you so much.